friends! I missed you. Have you been drawing good pictures? Please keep your pictures as treasures because each piece is important. Do you remember the first time the sun and moon talked to each other? The sun invited the earth, but whom did the moon say to invite? Yes, it was the sea. I'd like to know if the moon invited the sea. Let's pick up our story. Sun told moon to invite the sea. The sea will reflect the moon. So when moon called sea, a friend named sea really came. The moon saw its reflection in the sea. Its appearance glowed beautifully. The moon told sea because it knew that sea made moon beautiful. Sea, thank you for reflecting me so beautifully. Wouldn't it be good if you had friends dancing in your waves with you? You are so wide that it would be great if friends were invited into the sea. Then they'll be happy and you'll be happy too. So let's draw a nice moon and sea now. Prepare paper, pencil, an eraser, and a crayon. You can draw the sea the same way you drew the earth. Let's make the sea bigger. I'll try drawing it at this height. How did you learn the curve the first time? Please mark the wave from beginning to end with curves. Now let's try drawing it once with a full moon. We drew a crescent moon last time. Well, the moon shines, but it's not dazzling like sunshine. Well, now it's already done. Shall we color? Friends, have you ever seen the sea at night? Is it dark at night? First, take out one color that matches the sea. This blue will look very good with the night sea. Next, we will try to color the waves with crayons. Last time, like we colored the earth and sky, let's color it after peeling the crayon a little again. Now gently rub and color the water. Gently back and forth. Wow, it's like the sea at night. And I can color it holding the crayon up a little. Yes, if you color the sea like this, aren't there some other blue colors I have here? Let's show some more waves with these two colors. This will be a shallow wave. And this will be a deep wave, huh? Yes. And let's color the moon after that. The moon is colored yellow like this. And it's next to the night, so I'll color it with dark black. Shall I color all the way around the moon? The moon should be bright and beautiful, so try to avoid it.
Don't be scared, because it's okay to color inside the moon. Now, would you like to go color on the sides of the moon to make it all dark? Peel the crayon and color. Please feel free to color your own way. Now move your arm wide and color it. Oh, it's getting darker and darker. Everyone, isn't it fun to be able to color the night with crayons too? Please color it wider, wider, all the way to the sea, like this. Yes, I'm almost done. Yes, I'm going to paint the night so dark. A little bit boring because it is just black. So I will color the dark night here with the colors of the sea that I use. Don't you think it would be a better night for the sea if we mix the colors up? That's right, you don't have to color the night only black. And you can color it with this color and color it all over. You can use a jagged line, zigzag. Please color the night however you want. You can color it blue layering it up and down. Shall we give a face to the night after that? Please think about what kind of expression you will give. I'll try to draw it like this. Now, smiling eyes. It's exactly the same as the face that I drew on the earth last time. And the nose. And the mouth. This time I drew an open mouth. Oh, it looks like a very pleasant face, everyone. And shall we give the moon a face? Draw a pretty smile on the moon. Wow, it's finished. Yes, friends, how was your class today? We've drawn the moon and expressed the waves in the sea. Isn't it so wonderful to be able to express the night and express the waves of the sea? Then we'll all be looking forward to our next time, friends. Well, I'll see you again then. Bye!